so it was April 18, 1955, that the world received shocking news. Albert Einstein, one of the brightest minds of the century, was dead. How many of you knows how Einstein died? Raise your hand, please. Okay, so for your information, Einstein died of a condition called abdominal aortic aneurysm. And as a molecular biologist, I'm more interested in how he died rather than how he figured out a bunch of theories in physics. No offense to my friends from physics department, of course. So, abdominal aortic aneurysm is basically an enlargement or a ballooning of the abdominal aorta. Aorta is the major blood vessel that supplies blood to your body. It's about the thickness of a garden hose, runs from your heart through the chest and goes down to your abdomen. You don't really want to imagine how it looks like when that balloon of blood bursts out in your body. So 65 years after Einstein's death, we are still struggling to fully understand the mechanisms behind aneurysm. And the only available treatments are very risky and very expensive open heart surgeries. That is why it is very important to understand how aneurysms are formed and how we can simply treat them with a drug. In my research, I'm focused on the role of a small molecule called TLR4, which acts like a switch in the body. Our, lab our laboratory's previous studies have shown that when you turn the switch off in the whole body of experimental animals, these animals barely develop the aneurysm. So that is very good, that is promising. And as for the next step, I'm focusing on to understand how exactly and what exactly this molecule does in the area of that balloon and how we can safely turn it off only in the areas that will be affected by the disease. Einstein once said that gaining experience is gaining knowledge. And I hope that after all these years of experience that we had in studying aneurysms, we finally get to a point that we can find a dependable cure and change the lives of millions of people. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.